Hey everyone, this is Kaylee from Soy and Shay and thank you so much for joining me for another behind the scenes look as I make the embeds for the next soap. Today we're going to go and play with a bit of melt and pour and make some jammy donuts and we're also going to make some coloured salts to go onto the next soap. Let's go! Alright, so let's get started with the next lot of little embeds for the soap. What I've got here is some of the white... Um, no Sweat Melt and Pour by Stevenson. I'm just going to chop it up into some more smaller chunks here. I've got about 200 grams worth. I'm hoping I've got enough. If not, we can always melt down some more. I'm going to pop it into my little Pyrex jug here. Then I'm going to put it into the microwave and melt it down very gently in 20 to 30 second bursts until it is just melted. Okay, so I have melted down here. I do have a couple of little chunks still in here, but this is how I like to melt my melt and pour. I get it to this point and then I let the residual heat in the glass um, jug and the heat from that melted um, soap to actually finish melting the rest of that down. And then I know that I haven't overheated it. So I'm just gonna leave it sit here for a moment and then we'll come and put some color in. So it really doesn't take very long for that to actually melt out. What I'm going to do is I have got some opulence gold mica here. I'm going to put a little bit of that in and see what colour that goes first. The idea is I want to get a really nice um, donut sort of colour. One of those golden sort of coloured ones. Let's get that mixed in. So I'm mixing it as gentle as I possibly can. Um, I do need to get rid of some of those clumps, but I don't want to make too many air bubbles in there either. I'm just going to give that a quick spritz with some rubbing alcohol. But sometimes you find that some of the mica gets stuck in the little bubbles that form, and when you spray the bubbles, that sort of clumped mica appears. Yeah. Alright, so that's looking just a little bit undercooked I'm going to say. So I'm going to add in a little bit of wild orchid mica just to kind of get that sort of browner sort of look to it and that's coming up a little bit better there. All right I'm going to give that another quick spray with the alcohol just to get that mica bubbles to burst open. Oh that sounds like hubby's home. That's looking much better. Just get all of that mica distributed through the melt and pour. Still have a few clumps. I'm just going to squish it up against the, the side there. There's another one. This wild orchid, it's almost like a purpley red colour, but I tend to find it goes this really nice browny sort of colour as well, which is why I chose to darken this up with that one. All right, that's looking much better. So let's grab our mold. All right, so let's get the mold in. I have this little donut one. This is at a time that I was still actually shopping on eBay, but I'm sure you can find it on Amazon as well. All I'm going to do is give that another quick spritz just to get rid of those bubbles. And I'm going to pour all of these little donuts and then I'm going to leave it to set up and we'll come back and we'll do a little bit of decorating. have set up nicely and I am just going to pop them straight out of my mold and I'm going to pop them onto this tray here. I might just pop them back in and then I'm going to make up a little bit of glaze to go on the top of all of these little donuts. Okay so they have now all been unmolded and to do the glaze I've just got my little bowl here and I am going to add in just a little bit of clear melt and pour soap and again I'm going to go melt this down gently in the microwave and this will probably only take about 15 seconds. Um, I think that should be enough in there. I can always melt down more if I need. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay so that did literally only take 15 seconds to do. I think I said 15 minutes before. I don't know. Um, I'll soon find out when I edit but I have just given that 15 seconds and that has melted down nicely. I am going to add one drop of red soap colorant into that one and this is Carmine from Aussie Soap Supplies. 
So I'll get the lid back on. This one is always so messy to use. So I'll pop that into the sink so I can give that a wash off later. And I'm going to stir that red through. I'm just going to grab myself a pipette. This is going to be nice and messy. I am going to first of all squeeze the pipette so you don't pull up any extra air. Pop it into the soap and then draw it up. And then this way you don't get as many bubbles in it. And all I'm going to do is just dribble it over the top of these little donut shapes. Before I dip it in, I'm squeezing it back out again and pulling up more of that melt and pour. And just randomly putting my drizzles on the top here just to add a little bit more onto these i'm going to darken this up and we'll put a second shade of red drizzle over the top so again stir that through so it comes up that little bit darker splash it all over my workbench here all right so grab my little pipette again squeeze out the air and then pull up some of that melt and pour and we'll go again with that slightly darker drizzle and while that's still actually wet I've got some pink sea salt and I'm just going to it's actually an Australian pink sea salt and I've just dribbled a little bit on that to try and make it look like the sugar that you get on top of donuts this is setting up on me so we'll get going a little bit quicker in fact I'll go and pop this into the microwave for about five seconds just to really loosen that up all right so just gave that another eight seconds in the microwave just to get that melted down again again i'm going to pull some of that up right. so i'm going to grab my salts to go on this side we'll grab a little pinch to start with and i'm just going to start putting them on and sprinkle those little bits of salt oh we did that wrong <laughs> let's grab that bit of salt so it doesn't have the melt and pour in there um, that's better so this salt as I said is actually a pink uh, it's called Australian pink salt it's actually not pink in color but I would suspect that it's got some mineral or something in there that gives it that sort of pink tinge when you probably see it oh that one's looking really good looks like there's a great big dollop of jam in the middle i like the look of that let's put some more on those ones oh that was a bit much salt i like that these are kind of dribbling down into the middle it does look oh i almost did that again that's maybe not a good idea to have that over there pull it over closer to me so i don't do that i like that this dark red is actually pooling into the middle of that donut because then it looks like it's got that red jam center to it all right all right so i'm going to leave those ones to now set up i'm going to clear my mess up and then we're going to come back and do the next little bit that i want to be able to add to the top of this next soap all right, so the last thing we're going to do to go onto the top of this soap is make some salt sprinkles. And I want them to have a gold tinge. And you guessed it, if you've been watching for a while, I am using my Extravagance Gold Mica to do this because I absolutely love the sparkle and shine that is on this mica. I've just put some of that into this little glass dish here. And what I'm now going to do is I've got some 100% rubbing alcohol. You could use 99%. I like to use the higher percentage so I know that it's going to evaporate nice and quickly and not do anything too funky with my salts that we're going to add in here because salts are very susceptible to any sort of liquids I'm just going to dissolve that mica down into the alcohol there so that is all nicely dissolved down and now what I'm going to do is I've got some Epsom salts in this little cup I'm going to pour some of those in there and then just to give it a little bit more interest I'm going to put some more of that Australian pink salt in here as well that is more than enough I've made up quite a bit of this but I will be using it on a few other projects as well and all I'm going to do now is just give that a bit of a stir to make sure that those salt grains are all nicely coated in that gold and that alcohol from off the isopropyl alcohol will evaporate really really quickly and we'll get left with some nice dry 
bits of salt here. If you are using one of the lesser numbers, like a 70% or something like that, you may just need to leave your salts out on like a, on a flat surface spread out so that the water that's in the isopropyl alcohol can actually um, evaporate out. Um, generally, the higher the number, the more alcohol there is in there, and the lower the number, the more the, whatever is missing. So if it's a 70% isopropyl alcohol, it's 70% alcohol and usually 30% water. So you really want to try and keep to that higher sort of alcohol range when you're looking at mixing it into your salts. So I am really happy with how that has come up. I, all right, so I have both of my embeds now actually done up ready for the weekend soap. I'm going to go and get my oils prepared so that we can make this one up. If you've enjoyed watching this very quick behind the scenes video of me making the embeds for the next soap, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below um, and watch out for the Saturday video. If you haven't already, why not pop on over to my Instagram page and follow along on there as well. I get asked a few little questions that are a little bit random things like what sort of dogs I have if you follow along with me on Instagram you'll often see some pictures of my two little monsters and as well as lots of other things that hubby and I get up to as well as a few other little sneak peeks of things that I am working on so until the next soap or until the weekend I hope you have a great week and I will see you then bye